Hi, everybody. Welcome back to uh, D in Denial. Um, today we are here for the Moonstone Matriarchy and all girl campaign for um, like 90s girl power kind of vibes, maybe. I don't know. It's sapphic sometimes. I'm here for that. Um, I'm Jessica. It's my favorite also, word. <laughs> it's a good word, though. Feels good on the tongue. <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> also known as Eyes New Stars Online or uh Dia Denial. If you talk to any D in Denial somewhere, it's probably me. Um and I'll be your shenanigan sovereign tonight, uh this evening. Um I know words. Uh very quickly let me run you through the shows that we have on our channel, and then I will pass it over to our ladies. Monday nights, we have the Iowan Adventures at 7.30 p.m. EST, DM'd by myself. Uh, Tuesday nights, we have the State of the Union, a Shadowrun campaign um, with uh, myself and Katie, who is not here right now, um, at 7.30 p.m. EST, GM'd by at Cottlesworth. Uh, Thursday nights, we have the Lost Continent at, at, at 8 p.m. EST, DM'd by Mr. Markham. And Friday nights, we have the Legends of Kralis at 11 p.m. EST, a TTRPG created and GM'd by Telerius Game Master. And obviously, Saturday nights, we're here for the Moonstone Matriarchy. Um... Don't forget to follow us on our YouTube or our, um, actually, yeah, can you guys follow our YouTube? Because I got on the wrong side of YouTube where somebody saw cleavage and now I'm only getting followed because I have boobs and nobody watches our actual content. Um, and that's what's gotten me like 400 plus people. So if you could follow our YouTube, Dean and uh, Denial, that would be fantastic. Um... Star, would you like to take it <laughs> away, please? Hi, I'm Star, and I go by Star Mama C on TikTok. You can find my podcast, Characters Without Stories, anywhere where you can find podcasts. Um, and I am playing Cappy, who is a Herringon wild magic sorcerer. And I'm going to pass it to Juniper. Me. Uh, hello, I'm Juniper otherwise known as Linen and Spice, most places on the internet. You can find me on TikTok and Blue Sky for the most part, um, talking about uh, TTRPG stuff, chronic illness, autism, that kind of thing. Tonight I am playing, um, oh my God, who am I playing tonight? I'm playing Clover, who is a, <laughs> a tabaxi trickster cleric, and she is a tiny little tortoiseshell cat. I'm going to pass to Mami Kalik. Hi, I'm Mami Kalik. Um, you can find me absolutely nowhere on the internet. Um, I am playing a winter Eladrian and a wildfire druid. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Um, Scarlet. Hi, I'm Scarlet64. I'm Scarlet64 pretty much 
much everywhere on the internet. And uh, what's significant? Um, oh, I I sell art and stickers on my sh- Etsy shop. And uh, th- I, they sold out twice. So you know that they're good. Um, <laughs> I also run actual plays on my Twitch account. So if you want to watch me uh, torment players, that's a thing. Uh, wait, who? I'm so sorry. Who has not gone? Game of Revan. Oh, Revan. Go. Go, go, Revan. Go. Go, 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 go Revan. Go. go. <laughs> go, go. you know what that is my theme song hi guys i'm gm of revan you can call me and um i'm everywhere on the internet as gm of revan i am a map maker world builder content creator and psychopath game master because i am also participating in a semi-marathon with paladin sarcas i get to play with hot women tonight which is amazing uh, and the Moonstone Matriarchy. Um, also, if y- you want to find me on the internet, just go on my Twitch and I'm gonna pass it on to Cappy. Oh, I already went. <laughs> okay. Uh, I got, will, got recap. <laughs> I, I will, I will do reca- that recap. <laughs> yeah, the recappy. That, 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 that is recappy. <laughs> We're not wreaking havoc? Or, no, that didn't work out. It sounded way better in my head. Um, <laughs> well, you you muted yourself. Okay, hang on one second. Cool. Ahem. Okay, 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 okay. So let me do this in a weird voice, cause why not? We're we're here for shenanigans, um, and I have permission from our shenanigan sovereign. Yes, go for it. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> last time in the Moonstone Matriarchy. Last time we were on the Moonstone Matriarchy, we conducted a jailbreak with a mix of illusion and face steps. Yeah. Clover's friend Gilla came in like a fart before dispersing and committing arson in the temple of the moon goddess. Huh. The, funny. <laughs> Sin was amazing with getting the keys. She was really cool. She was also very hot. Uh, we entered the priestess's office in an attempt to escape. Cappy was so amazing and incredible and intelligent, she found a cool door using magic. Then the plants came to life. There was a big, huge um, tree-like thing, and then there was this big, huge, like, leaf-like thing and well they got burned and roasted and shredded and sorry to the moon priestess woman when we meet her again um and that's gonna happen uh oh anemone got mad she yeah. went into a rage uh it was amazing it was incredible uh she was trying to hold <laughs> off the door but you know that didn't happen <clears throat> Instead, she got Cappy and uh, Clover and tried to run like the Dickens out through the door. It, it it was a baseball run. Did she slide into home base? Who knows? Uh, <laughs> she slid into home base. She then slid into ev- home base. <laughs> then everything changed when we went through a hidden door, found a set of stairs, and Delphra. Holy shit. Delphra, okay, she went right and then left and swung <laughs> on a chandelier like Miley Cyrus on, on Craig. Wait, wait, we're not supposed to say that. Whoops. Miley, we love you. Um, but she was the right kind of woman because she found like these these abandoned lady clothes, turned them on, turned the moon on <laughs> as she should and revealed a set of stairs that we are now going to go running down as we uh, uh, try to escape. (laughs) By the way, we're still after Cappy's mom because she needs to go down. And that's where we left off, in the Moonstone Matriarchy. (laughs) That was the (laughs) recap. That was an amazing The bar you just set makes me love you and hate you at the same time. (laughs) <laughs> that was the best thing ever. <laughs> so good. Oh my god. 
uh, from from there, <laughs> uh, you guys took a short rest in the stair in the stairway. Uh, so you before going down it, um, and, before going down. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you guys are all sitting in the stairway before I. Uh, uh, you go down. You go. You go down. <laughs> Um, is there anything anyone would like to say to one another before going down? I forgot, to, I forgot one thing in the recap. Oh? Yeah, I, I have to do this for Rosalind. Oh. Rosalind was incredible. That's all. <laughs> she was a rogue of all rogues. She got us in. You yeah. was the rogiest rogue. Um, the rogiest <laughs> rogue that ever was. Okay, for the next um, for the next game, I think that we should all talk like this. And this we, is how I'm going to DM from now on. We <laughs> all became gnomes. <laughs> gnomes, gnomes for the moon. All the gnomes. I can bring up my collection Oops, of gnomes. gnomes. Gnomes everywhere for we you. We really do have to do an Oops All Gnomes campaign. Oops All Gnomes. Oh, oh God, we will. Oops. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, uh, we gnomed it again. Okay. Uh, is there anything anyone wants to say or do before we head down the stairs? Uh, 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 did anyone think that... Are we homeless now? No. No, sister. We have places we can go. Each other. In, we we have families and friends. We if we have to leave the city, I know where we can go. I'm just gonna follow you because I don't know anybody. No. Uh Cappy, when she says we have families, how does that make you feel? This sins like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone want to roll an insight to see if they see the twinge of just despair? I I would like to roll insight because I feel like Scarlet, as those words left my mouth, Scarlet went shit. Uh, but I was, <laughs> Sin is definitely thinking about uh, our contingency plan. I think she's been in like 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 planning and go 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 mode this whole time. Uh oh sh oh shit. Uh, <clears throat> I rolled. 20. Uh, inside 12 <laughs> inside 9 she's just <laughs> rattling she's like we have parents who love us we will get out of it <laughs> do you want to roll deception <laughs> um I did um and Clover would pass okay Clover yeah. being the astute little kitty that you are you catch it you catch that that moment of just yeah i'll i'll go right home to my mom <clears throat> i just i don't make a big fuss i just gently sidle up to cappy and just like give her a little head butt and and you know be, try and be comforting leaning on her hey clover that's nice mm -hmm. no give you a pet got you we got you cappy we all got each other. Yeah. Yeah. We're, you're my family. Uh, uh, I, I, I didn't mean it like that. I was just thinking too many steps ahead. I uh, apologize, sister. I meant that the village I come from, we could find respite there and we could probably make our plans. It is a rural village, close to the city, but out of prying eyes. Yeah, that sounds like it could be it could be good for us. I, I you know, I do think maybe we need to well, I guess the first thing is we need to find some answers, but if we need to lay low, it's nice to know that we have a place. With that, our our silent rogue today who uh could not make it so i am piloting her character oh my god i'm piloting her character should i need we to have, have to hear open? you have to do her impression like you have to like voice act it's tradition 
I have to voice act someone with an American accent. Sorry, <laughs> hang on. Um, <laughs> I, 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 how about, um, shit. Uh, don't say A. Um, <laughs> wait. Just talk like you normally talk. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Just talk like you normally talk. Um, uh, hang on. Sorry. I forgot that I had to run her in combat or uh challenges so let me just open open her character sheet do 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 of course that wouldn't be the right D D beyond which i refuse to buy D D beyond so i will continuously make new emails so that every time i fill up a character sheet I, That's such uh, a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I, I refuse. I canceled mine, and a one of my viewers got me like a year subscription so that I could give my assets to the people who play with me, uh, because I didn't want to spend my money. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I canceled nice mine in reaction to the OGL. That's why I canceled mine. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. I had just spent like four hundred dollars on assets on their shop i was like i can't even use this anymore so now someone else paid for it so i was like okay for the sake of running actual plays whatever all right we got it it's there okay um our intrepid rogue rosalind (laughs) flicking her uh beautiful white hair over her shoulder looks at you guys and goes well We'll have to, I don't know, guys, I can't flash a tit at it. So we're going to have to figure out how to get out of here first. Um... <laughs> Sorry. I really, I like killed, I killed our Goliath. Um, so let's head down the stairs. I mean, you can still flash your tits. That's okay. Only no, one. No judgment. And then that one just kind of like. All of us. <laughs> <laughs> she puts that away. Uh, the two, the two was when she was really desperate and trying to get the prince's attention. So she, she just has the best set. I'm just saying. I mean, if you got it, flaunt it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are really nice. <laughs> they really stop, are. guys! Stop! Don't give me compliments. <laughs> I can't take them. I'm. A I rogue. feel like this is going to be canonical for the rest of the campaign. She really just has the best <laughs> set. That Rosalind, she has the best set. <laughs> she has the best set of tits. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> as you all descend the spiraling staircase uh, and enter into the next chamber, you find yourselves standing on a very thin plateau. The chamber you are in is a perfect square, 30 feet by 30 feet. On the wall across from you is a beautiful mosaic. The mosaic depicts all phases of the moon and is like beautifully crafted and obviously like a mosaic with these tiny little stones, but they also have these like, they're luminescent. They glow, they shimmer in a room that's not very bright. Um, they go through the moon phases, obviously, new moon, waxing, all of that. Um, a chasm cuts the room in half, widthwise, spanning 20 feet across, and the depth is unknown. A faint glow, green glow, comes up from the bottom of it. Um, question. Yes. You said this is a 30 by 30 room, but the chasm mm-hmm. is 20 feet. Is there five feet on the edges and then it dips? Uh, 20 feet of like you're standing on like, oh, so there's 20... like a 10 foot like ledge that you guys can walk back and forth between. And oh, then t- okay. Okay. 20 gotcha. feet of just nothing. Got so, it. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Again, as you walk back in here, there's nowhere to go. There's just this mural across from you. Um, what would you like to do? Okay, let me, hold on, I gotta check what I Can picked. I roll Arcana to see if I can figure out why this is like luminescent and glowing? Um, You can, yeah, roll me Arcana. I got a 19. A 19. 
Uh, with your arcana, you realize that there aren't, um, just let me read this real quick. I'm reading the wrong thing. That's totally, so the, it is luminescent. Um, with arcana, you realize that, um, it's, it's a light spell, but I'm going to say with a 19, you also realize that it's getting dimmer as you guys are there. Which means very soon you're not going to have any light, including this green glow that seems to be fading. Okay. I um can I do... I just want to cast dancing lights to provide some light in the room. You cast dancing lights. I can see clearly. <laughs> oh foul. <laughs> <laughs> the rain um, is gone. <laughs> so I I do have devil sight, which gives me like perfect gorgeous beautiful 2020 vision up to like 120 feet um and even the darkest of magical darkness um i'm gonna look down where the green light is coming from what is the source it you don't see a source it eventually like turns into nothing it's, so this this is more than 120 feet deep yeah you see nothing like it's it's Oof. like eventually there's either just green or nothing. The green is like turning into just like it's like a thin green line. Almost. Okay. Um. Another question. If do, can mage hands fly? They can. Yeah. And how far away? Thirty oh, feet. Thirty feet. Okay. Never mind. No. Uh, hang on. <laughs> hang on. It. Does anyone want to roll me perception? Yes, please. Yeah, um, I'd also like to go and have as, have a real close up look at the mosaic. Sorry, as the moon, is, like as the it is becoming darker and darker. You do have dancing lights, but it's still getting dimmer. <gasps> Nineteen, um, not fucking twenty on my perception, baby. Okay, not nice. twenty and a nineteen. Nine. <laughs> no, I... it's my first nat twenty of this entire. You're, campaign. you're looking down <laughs> over the edge of the of the uh chasm and you're like that's that's a drop that's mm -hmm. a drop where that goes we don't know i feel like my toe i'm wearing uh uh sp spider climb boots uh my toes like grip the soles of my shoes like don't fail me now baby you are wearing <laughs> spider climb boots you just walk on the side of the I was going to do that, but I was first going to wait to make sure there was no weird traps or, you, you know. look across and, and you see that in the wall, very well hidden, there looks like there may be a small door. In the wall across where the moon is. In the wall across is. where the mural is. Okay. Right under the new moon. And you I can hate the walk across on the wall. <laughs> You just she you all of a sudden she goes sideways and starts spider climbing her her way across. Um tell me so magical darkness is you can obviously see through that with your eyes, yes? I believe so. I will double check just in case. Um ba -ba 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 -ba. because that's what's beginning to like take over the room. Yes, you've both already, magical and non-magical. You've already you had that 20, you figured out a way to pop across as you for get me, to but there. Not for my sisters. As you get there, um to that little door. Um can you can you give me an arcana check? I'm s i am wish I You know what? I, I even, wish I shouldn't I even make you I I shouldn't even make you do that because the arcana check from earlier would have given it away. Which is my bad. There, you see a weak. It has a weak magical aura. You, you, what? You rolled way more than ten. So, uh, what do you do when you get to this door? Okay, so I, I see it's an aura. Mm -hmm. I see that it's giving light, but I see that all the light is fading. Mm -hmm. Am I assuming that the magical darkness? is just kind of native to this room and these magical lights are fighting to exist in it or is the magical darkness emanating from the mural uh you first one okay 
so okay uh i am gonna find the door and see if i can't get it open how do you moon. how do you plan to get it open so i'm gonna like, like feel, feel around? around and see are there any like handles knobs is it a push is it a pull i'm gonna like kind of assess it oh and i'm like hold on sisters give me a second <laughs> can you keep your me, lights up can you give me investigation oh crap oh i actually am proficient in investigation uh oh, 21 21 i rolled a nice you baby. as you like start feeling around like this little tiny door just finding the cracks of it you realize that you can kind of get your fingers just your fingernails just in enough that you can pry it open uh. and with a little pop it swings open and all of a sudden the floor is full again there is like it's almost like it was just an illusion of sorts uh, there's I'm gonna, a like floor. look back at the at the rest of the group and be like who knew, guys? I'm uh, like, take some rations out of my pack, just like throw it in the middle, just to make sure that this isn't like a double illusion to trick anybody. Actually, would you roll me, um, roll me just a luck check? Well, just a d20. Yeah, just a d20. Uh oh, okay. Well, this this dice has been doing nice things for me. It's my clear. Look at how pretty this is. It is a clear quartz gem dice. Oh, gorgeous. Okay. Oh, it's perfect for the pretty. moon, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I got an eight. <laughs> an eight. <laughs> After all that build up. <laughs> an eight. Um, it skids across and then drops. Mm -hmm. uh, There's a section of the floor where uh, you see her ration just drop down. But there's a, it seems like there's a large, like you watched it skid across the floor. Like there was some floor there. Okay. Sisters, do any of you have magic to get across or do we need to trust walk this thing? Delphra just runs up. She goes, where do you want me to walk? Happy, you are me. Do you just run? Do you run just straight across? Run. I just <gasps> Do you, where, Typical where do you run exactly do you run where that ration disappeared or just no because okay wait do i see the ration disappear were you paying attention you tell yeah. me if you were paying attention i was paying attention because there's freaking light all of a sudden okay so you saw the it, you saw the ration drop down and disappear you just like sidestep that and run I'm I'm going to run into the like through the door, but I'm going to take like a hard right and uh -huh. try to circle the room. Okay, so you take you get down the stairs, you take a hard right, you go all the way around, and you meet up with Sin. Inside oh. of this little his hidden compartment that's now she's gotten open, you can see that there's just a pile of stuff. Like a broom it's, closet? No, it is not like it's like a it's like a safe size. Oh, this is not a throughput. This is a no. Yeah, this is like a safe. Oh, and uh, inside, you've you found about twelve items. You found a wand of magic missiles, a scroll of invisibility, a scroll of detect magic. Uh, a blood well vial you found an amulet of proof of, of proof against detection and location you found a silver glaze vial which basically is a liquid silver that can coat and uh, can coat a weapon to make it do silver damage so like against certain creatures and it stay your changes your weapon to stay that way it now has silver in it um, there is a bag of holding, uh, gloves of swing, swimming and climbing, um, a, sp a spell scroll of bless, two 300 GP diamonds, 
Um, one silver moon touched dagger and boots of elven kind. I will put all of this in the chat for you and you can divvy it up amongst yourselves. That was my next question. Can you type <laughs> this? Because I couldn't write as fast yeah, as you. Yeah, I'm like, I got, I got I am a, here. I'm, I'm, I'm about good. to, I'm about to <laughs> yeah. drop it for you right now. You are <laughs> amazing. You okay. guys okay. found your first little like trash of treasures. treasures. Yeah. Yeah. Oh what is a blood well vial? Oh, I want it. I want it. It's mine. Yeah. Okay. That, you can have that's it. That's a sorcerer's. Um... It's a, yeah, it's a sorcerer thing. It gives me <laughs> extra sorcery points on short rests. And I used to have one. <laughs> you did. Yeah, you did. You did. And then you guys all kind of went down. You actually recognize this, Cappy, as your former blood well vial that was taken away from you. Oh. oh. So this is actually the stuff that we presumably had before. Some she of went it, down. some of it is stuff that you had. So, uh, some of it is just stuff that has been kept there. Um, okay. What do guys? What do? Uh, do you want us to divvy it up now, or would you like us to do it after the session? Uh, so that. That is up to you. If you would like to claim something right now, you are more than welcome to just be like mine. Yeah. Just like I, th I think a smart thing would be like if circumstance happens that in this session that something like that would be important. We could be like, hey, I'd really like to use that. But then after the session, we can like debate it up. Totally fine. Yeah. And we'll leave it. It's in the chat for you. You guys can use the like call on it there. Could, um, could, could I get my boots back? My, my boots of elven kind back. Yeah, you can. Please. You could take your boots back. Thank you. Thank they you. They are your boots. They are my boots. There, there's the even like a bit of worm juice right there. <gasps> That's right. <laughs> I need to get that evocation back. To speak to animals because that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> the worm juice. Oh, oh. Um, as you take all this stuff out and you divvy it up, put it in the bag of holding or whatever, and you close the uh, the door. A hole in the floor appears with another oh. staircase. Oh. And that's on the, like, a couple stairs, a couple stairs down is your ration. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Follow the druid. <laughs> the druid just takes off. Delphur's like, I've got this. Don't worry. You dropped something. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's like a, a stale cracker. I take it back. <laughs> take just it back. You, ne you never bag. know. You're right. We could get lost in the woods and starve to death. Wait, do any of us know how to forage? <laughs> Doesn't and matter. Then, and then many. I know how to find food in a city, but not in a forest. I'm afraid. And then many is like, this is my time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. I. I'll be like, uh, Sid will like hear all this and just look at the little like sail cracker and like toss it over his shoulder and be like, we will depend on our sisters for our sustenance. <laughs> Yeah, and my mom me. always used to give me those um, wilderness classes, but it never really stuck. <laughs> wilderness classes? I mean, part of it did. <laughs> well, you know, it's like, it, it's like learn how to be a wandering adventurer. and How to um, tie a knot. Yeah, how to make survival, a shelter. I guess, yeah. Here oh. we call it the lunettes. It's like the brownies. <laughs> So oh yeah you guys you guys uh we call it the lunettes you get badges and this is this is fully oh, um this is fully this is rosalind saying this you get badges and uh when i was younger i used to do that and i got pretty high up i think <laughs> i don't sin, remember a single thing sin <laughs> as somebody who was like trained to be a luna priestess from a little kid age is like I know all about the lunettes. How many badges, badges did you get? I got all of them. <laughs> I still have the handbooks right here. <laughs> you have the handbooks right there. You see, you see uh, Rosalind look at you, and and there's a moment of just like she was totally lying about all of that. But like, oh no, 
but there's like Sin she uh know. she looks at you and she's like that's so cool i'm so glad i i i'm so interested you i didn't get very far i think sin will then like take rosalind under her arm and start like questioning so what was your favorite badge to get how many <laughs> camp outs did you go to um, totally not like in a so yeah but no, no, a- no, you're totally, you're like totally <laughs> trying to bond, and she's like yeah. a much she's better like- uh liar than the DM is. So um she's like immediately like uh oh, I went to a couple, but then I started getting homesick and I wanted my mom. So I would always sneak away at night and I got in trouble. But also that got me the badge where you know you you can re- you can get away from things unseen. <laughs> uh, that was the one badge that I I it took me so long to get that badge. Yeah, I've always been really sneaky. Um, if we ever get back to Moonshade, my village, I'll show you my sash. It has all the badges. I can't wait to see it. I cannot wait. And this she is like is the just... most giddy any of the sisters have seen Sin. Yeah. She's like reverted back to her childhood. And it's like a different person. It's not broody. It's like nerdy, giddy. Uh yes and, rosalind and- is so excited to see you like this that she's she doesn't want to break the lie and it's just like yeah show me your badges i'm so excited um which is fucking adorable <laughs> we're gonna have to like really get i'm gonna have to get katie up to speed <laughs> i know i wish katie was here uh, okay. we'll make her watch we're gonna the, go we'll down make the sure stairs. she watches it yeah we're going downstairs uh, we're going downstairs as make you... sure you invent the wildest backstory for her while she's not here and like just make it canon <laughs> right and that's what's happening um okay. it's cool it's cool it's cool as you uh as you descend the winding sa- staircase you step into a shadowy chamber at the end of the staircase you find yourself enveloped in an eerie hushed atmosphere almost almost like something is watching you and that that's what you feel like um the room is circular 30 feet in diameter with walls adorned with lunar themed tapestries de- depicting again you know our celestial events uh roll me a perception check as you enter dc 12 <laughs> no <Eight>. one <laughs> never mind <laughs> no one oh 20 okay someone someone we got someone that saw it uh, I want to bring. Delphi. By the way, I want to bring my dancing lights with me. Could, 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 could I? Could I just you. out of curiosity uh-huh. have prepared my void strike blade just in case prior to this? Even though I rolled an eleven on my perception. For I, I assume that when you are in a place that you don't know, you always have your blade handy. That just seems very anemone to me. So I could see you walking down the stairs with your blade out. Um, With that amazing perception check, Delphra, you notice that the, the stars on the walls, they're not actually stars on the walls. They're um, made of, li- they're like little brass beetles that kind of catch the light and reflect it to look like the stars. That's what's making them glow. Um, in the center of the room, which you see first because you ran down and entered first, is a stone altar that radiates a pale otherworldly light, um, casting like el- elongating shadows. That's what's hit. That's what's making the, my jaw is just not working with me today. Um, that is what, uh, the beetles are the light that the beetles are reflecting. Um, someone's kind of like gone to a very, very lot, like a lot of effort to create this underground lair. Um, the lair. air. Yeah, I thought lair. The lair. Lair. Who said lair? <laughs> lair. <laughs> lair. That's not the words I wanted to hear. <laughs> I thought room would suffice, but okay. <laughs> no. I mean, you've gone through room after room under that was hidden behind a painting. So 
I mean, it's Lair seems appropriate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the air is heavy with the scent of incense. And a low, ominous chanting echoes faintly from a creature resting atop the pedestal on a lavish purple pillow. The creature itself appears a silvery, bluing, bluing, blue glowing sphere, bluing, um, with six wings coming out of like every angle. Every now and then, one of those wings flutters and the ball shifts across the room on the opposite side. Uh, like it's it's a circle, so it's just across the room. It's fine. Is a dimly lit hallway that leads off straight feet, uh, straight. Te- We're fine. Ten feet before turning left. Okay. What would you like to do? Circle room ball with way too many wings Mm -hmm. that seems wait what was the ball made out of it's i mean would you like to investigate yes i'm looking at the ball is it like organic or is it a like material roll me investigation Um, can i help can you roll it for me with advantage (gasps) i will roll it it for the advantage actually shit um you even understand the chant yeah Wait, I haven't rolled it yet. Roll it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just thinking. I'm, I got, I got my amethyst desk, dice to add. You have the nicest dices. I they mm-hmm. were presents. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh God, I rolled a, <laughs> I rolled a natural four and a natural nine, but I have a plus two, uh, so eleven with uh, eleven. I got eleven. That, that's enough. That's totally enough for you because. You oh. understand the language it's chanting in. I do, Celeste. Yeah, it is. <gasps> you that little ball there accurate, is a celestial angel. being. It's biblically accurate. Um, somebody give me an intelligence check. I got mm-hmm. you. Not me. No, Not I don't got that. you. You don't got it. Shot. Do I hear oh. what are the words? Well, so if, if it's question. chanting in, in celestial, would I understand the words it's saying? You understand that it is saying um it will protect the mother goddess Luna. It will like it's almost like over and over again. It will protect the mother goddess Luna. None shall pass unless none shall pass unless uh the password the be spoken oh that's important information okay yeah uh ladies <laughs> with the oh, are you holding me back I'm yeah like, she's holding she's just yeah I'm, I'm putting my hands up uh we need to find a password and then okay so with my intelligence wonderful intelligence check um i'm gonna like scoot around you and i'm gonna go up to this like oh you just walk right up to the vault oh please don't do that oh my goodness no, but i'm like I'm, I'm not i'm not running I'm not running. You can grab her. I'm going to hold. I'm just going to gently take your arm and lean in to your ears to like inform you. So you have like, in, you, so you have information. It's a guardian. It protects the way forward. In the name of Luna, it needs a password. And like, I, I just kind of like nod at her and then like keep going. And very. I'm like- going to back him the him fuck him. up <laughs> he just like the wall as I'm you go up this thing and just start like lovingly caressing it and then give like the ball like the tiniest kiss <laughs> no we're <was> gonna die <laughs> you yeah. i just wish <laughs> you walk up to this thing very lovingly put your hands on it give it a little uh a little smooch and it begins to glow this bright silver light and rays into the air as wings flapping. Um, I need everyone to roll for initiative. I got no. my bow out. No. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn to my sisters and be like, I think Delphra's in her find out face. <laughs> walk around and find out. Well, um, what that's a 19. 19. Okay, Cappy? 
Clover. Ones. Uh, what a waste of a nat 20, also 22. Mm. 22, nat 20. I'm going to put you at 23 so that you can go a little higher and you'll go twice. Okay. You're going to start, you're going to start and you're going to go twice. Um, Delphra? 19. 19. Who has the higher decks between Anemone and Delphra? Delphra. Yeah? yeah. Well, I've got a 17. What do you got? Meg. Uh, I got like my role, like my legit- No, your 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 decks. You you said you had 19. Oh, I have one. Okay. Anemone then. Like I have so, 12. I'm gonna put you with there. Plus one. Uh Rosalind it got a 10. Sin. 14. 14. And you guys did wow. Wow, you rolled real fucking well. Okay. Um Clover, I'm gonna let you go twice because you got a nat 20. But mm-hmm. technically the moon or uh, the the little moon ball is in front of you. So okay. uh not so make it a surprised round and then we'll start initiative. Me? I don't no 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 uh Clover, make a surprise oh. attack. It knows um, you're there, but I, I don't want to waste the nat 20. It's like the worst thing to do. Yeah. So I will give you a surprise attack because it didn't ex- it doesn't see the little kitty. Um <laughs> would I have in a surprise attack, um, would I actually have time to summon a spiritual weapon and have it bonk the thing, or is it or is it more just a melee attack? You have a full I'm gonna give you your full round so you can summon it full s- round summon your thing, yeah. Oh fantastic. Okay. Um I'm yes, I'm summoning a spiritual weapon. Um I would like to try and bonk it. Uh, okay. It's a 23 to bonk. You bonk. Fantastic. Uh, for only six damage, it's radiant. Okay, so it, it kind of just knocks it a little bit sideways and doesn't seem to do much damage. Okay. But you did hit it. Um, am I Am I within... Like, am I within melee of it, or how did how big did you say this room was? Thirty feet. Thirty feet in diameter. Um, it's right in the middle. Okay, um, I'm still up near the wall. I'm not going to get up close to it, but I will try and hit it also with my crossbow as my action. Okay. Um, it's your baby crossbow. It's a kitty crossbow. Yeah. <laughs> little kitty you crossbow. Watch it. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I can't brain. Um, fifteen to hit. Uh, fifteen hits. Oh, fantastic! Um, another five damage. Uh, is and that's uh, just that's piercing, um, but it's, it's a magical. It's magical, weapon? yes, correct. Okay, so five. Sorry, I blanked. How much damage? Oh, what did I say? Five, uh, five, five, five. Perfect. Yep. Okay, that does work. Um, then it's going to be its turn and then your turn again. Is that your full turn? Okay. Bonus action, so action. Yeah, that's all I got. Our, our little celestial here, it's called a moon kite, by the way. Like, how cute is that? That's Why so do you cute. make us fight cute things? We didn't have to fight it. We just needed yeah, the I password. Know. We just needed the password and that didn't happen so what what's gonna happen is it's going to um it's going to what is this why is it huh okay it's gonna it's oh fuck delphra i'm so sorry that you're right there um I was it's, trying to be loving. I just say that one more time. You were, and it, and Sin saw, warned you. Sin warned. This is a construct. <laughs> you warned me. It's but, it's not a construct. Luna? It is a celestial. It, I mean, it has been summoned here and bound to this area by someone, which is essentially yeah. mechanically yeah. like a my, construct. It's my, got a job to do. My thought process was it was tied to Luna. So if I was loving to it. Okay. Well, so here's 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 what's going to here's what's going to happen. Um it's going to it's going to hit you 
It's going to hit you three times right now with its wings for a 16, 17, and an 18. They all freaking hit. They all freaking hit. And then, then it's going to do one more attack, and we're going to see if this hits. A 16. Okay, so here's here's what's about to happen. Oh, oh that's, that's so many dice. You're going to need those. Okay. I'm just going to roll this online because it's so many dice. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> Listen, I didn't expect you to really just go full ham here. That's four. Uh, one, two, didn't three, expect four. Delphro to one, go full two, ham. Three, four. I didn't, I, you know, I, <laughs> oh, shit, fuck. Um, this is definitely and then, Delphro's find out era. Yeah. Shit. Um, I, I thought that you guys would not die right away. Um, we'll be fine. Um, we'll be fine. Okay, here's, here's what we're going to do. Uh, bludgeoning damage if the score is a critical hit damage okay so it's not a critical hit so it's only 1d8 plus 4 which is so much that's not better okay so you take 59 damage I'm down I'm down I'm down I'm dead <laughs> you just heard how, Daniel how did? fucking oh. was, that, was that below double your thingy what's like your total HP Delphra? I'm gone I'm not. It rolled. It rolled sixes and fives the whole time. I'm gone. Delphra! It's gonna tell everything just goes slow motion. <laughs> well, holy shit. And. <clears throat> That's, okay. Delphra Here's, was in her find out phase for a very short amount of time. Very short amount of time. Oh, you guys, oh, fuck me. Okay. Um, Let's get Delphra through this and then figure out what to do. Delphra is now rolling death saving throws. She, oh no, you're dead, dead. You don't even get to dead, roll the death saving. You're just yeah. dead. Okay, cool. We, we're, we're dead. We, we're we need to find it. a healer. We're going we're gonna to talk we, about it. Uh, we're going <laughs> to find a healer. <laughs> fucking have dead, a conversation. Like, there's no coming back from this. I'm gone. Well, there. Look, just, if someone just, has Revivify in the, we're in the Temple of Luna. We gotta find somebody who is. You guys, you guys are one it's minute. Gonna, it's, gonna it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be. It's gonna be fine. Do trust me fine? when I say that it's gonna be fine. Just trust me. Okay. Okay. I know what I know. What's coming out? Uh. Oh. Um. I know what's coming up next, but and also I think that um immediate death only happens um uh, like double death type like you 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 know if it's only if it's one hit so if it you, makes you feel any better my very first attack roll as a dm ever was a crit against a first level player and they die died yeah you're they not die died. you you are technically you still have to roll death saving throws because you didn't it wasn't one hit it was it, four. Oh, although oh, to be okay. fair if you were hit by four different those, attacks okay so depending on which of those I've never brought her down to zero. Death saving throw so. in my goddamn life because I've never actually. Oh yeah, because those would have been failed so, death uh, saves. Uh, yeah, me. those would be yeah. automatic death save fails if she continued to take yeah. hits after. So how much damage did she take on the first hit? Okay, on the first hit, we're gonna we're gonna break this down for you. Duffer, um, we're gonna save you through mechanics. <laughs> so, let me rules lawyer first to the win. Yeah, yeah we're gonna so, rules lawyer our way and, out of death. And if she dies, die, die, okay. Look, so. look, if she die dies, we're taking her body with us, and we're gonna find a solution. Yeah. So Tr don't worry. I don't I'm worry. I know what's coming up to, next. Um, okay, the first hit does okay. seventeen damage. Are you still up, Duffer? Okay, cool. Oh, okay, yeah, not dead this. yet. Okay. The second hit is going to do is 16 damage. I'm dead. That one takes okay. you down to just so you're zero hit points. That's you're still good. You're just below uh, zero hit points. You're unconscious. So the next two hits are they just they're they're automatic death saves or they're not. I mean, sorry, they're you automatic fails. Yes. Yeah. Now, hold so, on, though. This so now I have this one. Is, so I'm up next and I can heal you at this point. So okay. yeah. you're not you're not dead dead for the DM. Yes. This is your rule. 
usually if someone succeeds a hit against someone who is prone, it is a critical hit. If it's a critical hit, that, that is, is two fair. death that's saves. True. But so you're dead, dead. Up, but that's up to you as the DM if that is a rule that you want to establish. Like, like this has never happened before. So I guess this is the moment where you decide, are you going with <laughs> the rules as written or are you doing a uh, house rule? It's not an automatic crit. Um. I normally do go with an automatic crit. Oh my God. Okay. So the first one would be two, would be two, and then it would be, yeah, you're dead. Um, if she's dead, we are not leaving her body and we will. You're not leaving. We are in the temple of Luna. There Listen are, to me. There are. I am your DM. Here. Trust me that in the next, <laughs> the next thing coming up, you will be fine. As long as, and, and you have to be fine because you don't have the person that would run off and set off the traps. She's dead. Oh, so this is just a temporary <laughs> nap. So, like, if you <laughs> make I, was, I promise I, you. I have a question. I have a question. Can I use my channel points to use a hand of fate? Um, I, you know what? I will you allow know, anyone right now if you want to make me roll with this fight advantage. Is over. I'm just kidding. <laughs> If anyone, if anyone that is not in this game puts a hand of fate up, okay, there we go. James did the hand of fate. I'm gonna re-roll one of these, okay? Hero, that one, eh? Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, fucking roll. Oh, I don't know. It's if with this rolling. Yeah. Well, I don't. Is rolling one attack even gonna make a difference? Yes, it is because then she is not dead. Dead. Like with the seven that I just got, she is. You have advantage on attack. She's so only she's mostly prone. dead. Why are you doing this? Because I want to carry her crippled body. (laughs) And go, girlfriend, okay, we'll get you back. (laughs) I've done my best. You're dead. I want to roleplay the situation. You're dead. You're dead. That's it. it, I... Even I want to weep if over we, her If we say that body, I rolled straight, face. Uh, you got another hand of fate. And okay, I guess fans. you're not dead, then. You got two hands of fate. You are okay. saved. <laughs> we had one. Oh my god, this doesn't even. We had with the original hand of fate. I would roll straight, and I rolled an eighteen. I will re-roll this roll with disadvantage right now. With you know what, I'm going to roll it straight because they're right. I I have advantage and disadvantage, and that's a three. Which means you have one death saving throw. You have one oh. left. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. Okay. I can do something about it now. Okay. You also have a guidance, and we're gonna we're gonna say it's 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 Duckle it's Duck Lewis. Duck Lewis saved your life. We're gonna pick <laughs> Delphra up. We're gonna d- dust her off, and we're gonna sit her down and say, "Now, what did we learn?" <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What does cause chaos do? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> Uh, cause chaos means that I roll my next attack with uh whatever I I minus a d8 from whatever roll I do, and then um hand of fate is I roll with disadvantage. Noted. Right. Okay. Noted. Noted. Now the celestial being is on an Emony's hit list. Got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we so, still have to deal with a being that could do fifty nine points of damage in a single round. <laughs> explain, explain. Like, did you guys like scream and stuff when there when went down? Oh yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, we, I, we all look, screamed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. we all screamed. You hear just real, real quickly in the heat of battle. This is what you hear. Um, you guys are fucking. You hear. It's so much. <laughs> Wait, the dis- the Zoom just squelched whatever you uh, said because you're my someone microphone. there? And it's kind of like echoing off the walls coming from the hallway. Um, no! No one is, is here! It, do, you, do we recognize <laughs> the voice? Well, anatomy, I yeah. don't think it works like is that. It, huh. okay. Is it Lysandra? I will let you make these checks right after this first round. Wait, am I conscious? <laughs> You're no. dead. You no, have one dead. hit. You have one saving throw left to do. <laughs> you're okay. bleeding out on the floor. <laughs> you took a lot of bludgeoning damage from these wings. You got knocked. You got like honked. Knocked the fuck out. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like my daily life. Let's go on. Okay, Clover. It is your turn. Okay. 
Um, so I'm going to scream and yell and make my way over to Delphra and pump a second level cure wounds into her. That's the that's all I can do. Um <laughs> so that's uh I'm, I'm plus imagining you casting. like kneading her head, like Yeah. Okay. I'm 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 like <laughs> on, on her chest kind of like uh, um 2d8 plus 3. Okay, uh, so that's um, 11 plus 3, 14, 14 hit points back to Delphra. You're back up with 14 hit points and a cat on your chest. And on my bonus action, my spiritual weapon is going to go ham on this fucking celestial <laughs> that just killed my 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 um, okay. my family member. Let's just go with that. Um <laughs> So it's probably in its in its um in its enthusiasm, it's gonna miss completely because I rolled a four on the die. So never mind. <laughs> you are not really thinking about a- actual like you can't think enough for its accuracy to work to be there. And you just take a wild swipe. It kind of just you see it. It's its wings just kind of make it spiral and roll out of the way of the air. Um, and you hear. You hear it chant continue. Um, is that your full turn? That's all I've got. Yeah. Okay. Cappy. Fuck some shit up. Um, the voice that I heard. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know who you are, but do you know the password? Uh, you hear. You hear. It's chrysanthemum. I can't. You, you're, 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 cu- you're yelling. So it's, it's, it's out. screaming chrysanthemum over and over chrysanthemum, again. <laughs> chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, and then you see the the you see as it's doing its little spin over with its wings, it stops and floats back to the pillow. And lays down and settles back down, all of its wings huddling back in. The glow goes down, and this and a soft murmuring chant continues from it. And what you didn't notice is that all of these little clockwork beetles had left the had left the walls and begin to settle back down to become the stars once more. Oh shit! Was that going to attack us as well? <laughs> oh yes. Oh, yes. I'm, uh, Sin is going to like rush over and lift very carefully, like lift Delphra's head and like wipe the blood from her face. <laughs> yeah, and I'm you gonna kind of pat on your chest. Yeah, I, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a scratch, and I'm gonna kind of smile and say, like, I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, young one. <laughs> look at her and just be like I'm just trying to be nice it's okay you're very nice not everybody receives niceness nicely you hear be a dick you hear from the little ball because now that the password has been spoken it's almost got like the chant sounds like a little purr right like it's happy And you get a little squeak of, like, almost, sorry. Some things are compelled by their duties and their nature. It didn't know you were trying to be nice. It was performing its duty. And then all four of its wings cover the front of where you're looking at it so that you can't see it. Like, it's embarrassed. Are you stuck here, creature? You get a a little like it squiggle, like it's nodding in its pillow. Do you like being stuck here? Wing wing comes up and it gives a shrug. Who summoned you, Celestial? It points to the passageway with a wing. Our little friend over there. Delphar at this point is pissed and she starts stomping over there. You oh. take off. Wait, wait, oh, there wait, she wait, goes. Wait, 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 wait. You have a cat instantly sinking her claws into you. <laughs> so, 
are you is anyone physically stopping Delver? She will go. Yeah. I don't I'm think there's a, as a cat. I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I've got the claws, the claws in her leg, basically. You've got claws like, in Delphur. your leg, Delphur. Are you heating yeah, your sisters? Yeah, I guess I, I grab you by the wrist. Again, not forcefully, but gently. And I go, patient sister. Uh, Rosalind looks at you and just Delphur, goes, go you're, ahead, you're go muted. get punched in the face again. Delphur, you're muted. You're muted. I said, fine, I'll give you patience, but that bitch gonna die. Wait, it wait, warned wait, us. Wait, 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 password. It warned us. Did it we recognize the voice? And it killed me. Do you, you recognize the voice? The voice sounds weak. I'm going to say, and hoarse. I don't think you've, no, I'm going to say with the way it sounds, probably oh. not. Okay. Can I roll for perception just in case? Because I want to roll for perception? Insight, or Random. when you were dead? Oh, that's true, eh? You you didn't hear uh, it. I didn't hear shit. That's true. No, I was alive. You, you didn't hear it. Roll I perception. was alive because Clover healed me, and then it was Cappy's turn. Okay. Yeah, you guys can roll. Fuck, 18. never mind. I got that one on perception. 18? Nine. Who got the 18? Delphra. Delphra. I mean, you've spent... A lot of time with her. You've mm-hmm. never heard her in this state before, but that does sound very much like Lysandra. Wait, is Lysandra our your boss? high priestess? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So at that point, I just yeah. like knock everybody off of me, and I'm like, "Listen here, this is not a fun game. I thought we were friends, and I just go barreling through the door. You go barreling mm-hmm. through the." Uh, down the hallway yeah una momento let me you guys are out of combat heavily sigh and look at everyone else and be like let's go see what's going on all right so here's what happens you follow the hallway at the end of the hallway in the very depths of this ancient fortress lies a lavish anti-magic cell that i'm going to say our druid has just run right into um Completely, you know, s- rendering her useless in that in that way, but designed to be both a prison and a paradoxically very opulent chamber. Um, the walls are adorned with intricate murals depicting like historical events, uh, and imbued with powerful runes to nullify any magic within. The floor is a mosaic of precious stones shimmering under the dim ever-burning torches that provide a very ghostly light a luxurious a luxuriously luxurious though age-worn canopy bed sits in the corner with silken sheets and plush pillows uh contrasting starkly with the heavy magic dampening change that are chains that are anchored to the walls so the bed can't be moved around or anything like that um a small ornate table holds ancient tomes and artifacts despite its grandeur the oppressive aura of confinement and the nullification of magical energies makes it a very gilded cage as you approach the entrance to the room you hear not one but two voices shouting at you as you run right into that room delphra no 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 no, no. Don't come in! Don't pass the threshold! Oh! And they're like, then there, in front of you, stands High Priestess Lady Lysandra. Her long white hair is tangled over her elven ears. Her fair skin is bruised in places. Um, Her bright eyes have almost unshed tears in them. Like, she, she's pan- she's very panicked. And she has a fat lip that has only just begun to heal. The other woman in the room that you see as you, I guess, run into Lysandra as she catches you halfway. Um, behind her, lounging on a, a chaise long, is another woman. Tall and athletic. She's elven. Uh, she's got gray skin and black hair pulled back into 
what was once a sleek bun and is now have has chunks pulled out of it hanging everywhere um her her amber eyes i not i i should i should say i because the other one is swollen shut and black and blue um regards you with interest and she speaks with a bit of a drawl as she looks at you she goes you must push the brick on the wall on the outside beside you before you came running in here otherwise you're stuck here just like i am just like we are right lissy Delphi's just gonna be like, listen, there's other people outside of this room, looks at Lissandra's like, I'm gonna kill your ass, and then you have a lot of fucking explaining to do. And I will explain everything. I I promise we just need to get out of here. If you look around the room as you guys all come forward, are you running in here as well? Is I'm, anyone I'm, else? No, I'm I'm walking, walking like this. Carefully. Yeah, like, as, I'm just like mm-hmm. as everyone comes in, like slowly into view. Delphi like basically turns around, and is like, "Do not come in here." No kidding, young one. <laughs> this is, she, I'm pretty sure I'm older that, than you. She says, "Ah, uh, uh, she's a pretty old elf." I'm two hundred forty. You don't I, know your age. You have amnesia. Didn't know my age. <laughs> you act like a young one, so Sin assumes you're a young one. Uh, you you look so young. Um, yeah, I think she's kind of like both amused that you're stuck in there, like also like it's somewhere between annoyed and amused. So she's just kind of like not a mean gloat, but kind of a playful gloat. And she's just like, mm-hmm. I understand. Mm-hmm. I'm in timeout, Sam. Yes, you are in timeout. You are in timeout. <laughs> um, after like looking Delphra up and down, she's gonna lay eyes on Lysandra and this other person, and she's gonna look very confused and concerned and wait for the rest of her sisters to give me give me um her. an investigation check. Okay. 14. Lysandra, how long have you been trapped here? Um, a few days. While they're I think. figuring this out, can I use a um? Where's my spells here? Did you just say a few days? Yes. What was your investigation check? Fourteen. Fourteen. Perfect. Exactly the DC. The DC. You notice that this room has been tossed. Um, there are broken plates on one side. There, the sheds that this woman is laying on has definitely been righted. Um, You can see that there are scratch marks of it being like dragged along the floor at some point. Uh, Books are tossed everywhere. And with the way that they look, you clearly, you know that they they've been fighting. They've been, they've been at each other. The black eye and the missing hair gave it away. Yeah. Um, Right. Like, which for Lily, for the high priestess lady lysandra i mean she's never laid a hand on anyone she doesn't she is a magic user she does not fight and you said a couple of days how many days ago did we have the moonstone over to uh nixaria about four days ago so the say so the timing so So we can deduce that it was Lysandra that sent us to get the moonstone and she got intercepted as we were turning it over. That's what That is a deduction you can make. Okay. That makes me feel a little less tricked, um, but still alarmed. Uh, Delphor, what were you trying to do? Um, While they're all just figuring this crap out, I'm going to use... I'm gonna use cure wounds on uh, Lysandra. No, you're not. You have not no magic in here. Magic. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. No, no, you're not okay. because the magic has not been the anti magic cell still exists. And as you um, as you go to cast this, do this. Her you you what? Are- I'm gonna say you go through with the whole thing. You even touch her chest, and she just pats the side of your head like, "Oh, darling." 
It's an mm. anti magic chamber. We're stuck in here. You know, guys, the worst part is, is my intelligence is 15. I know, baby. <laughs> I know. Um, If you guys want to look in uh, the NPC area, I'll tell you who this is, who you is see. This, we recognize the other person. We do not recognize the other okay. person. Mm. Um, In the, uh, her name, is, she's in the, um, the priestesses section. Oh, let's go. Cool. Okay. And her name is Lady Orion. Oh, she's oh, hot. God. Wait. Damn. Well, they all are. <laughs> They're all <laughs> hot. <laughs> They're all hot. It's my world. The hot people is what we want. Yeah. Wait, which uh-huh. one is Lady Orion? Uh, she in should be near the top. Suit, essentially. How? Okay. I'm not a Pinterest girly. Is the you don't have to use the Pinterest if you click the oh. I made I made actual I put them all in the I'm clicking on the the NPCs is there uh, is it a thread is that yes. what's going on I've made them yeah. threads oh I'm so crappy with the threads hold on how do I how, uh, I don't know how to use thread. <laughs> okay so if you go i'm this i like that this is part of okay so if you go to the npcs um and you Uh, go to uh priestesses of salandria there is you see that there is a line from my my head see that's that's i i can't get that far i'm tagging you in the thread yeah there you go you've been tagged in the thread thank you there we go (laughs) let's see uh so i was just scrolling up to find what's her name a lady Orion. Lady Orion. She is right under the high priestess. Oh my goodness. She looks like she can be related to me. <laughs> Ooh, maybe um, she is. What? Auntie? What do you guys do? What do you uh, t- Yeah, I'm going to let you guys make a move before I make a move. Oh, I'm just sitting lady there like... Sandra, we have yes. some really bad news for you. Um, Isn't that you gave the boonstone to Nixaria? Yeah, you know already. From behind Lysandra, Lady Orion just <laughs> Oh, this is this is so good. This is so so funny. You know, I don't need my object to punch her. You see Lysandra just you you've never seen this side of Lysandra, but she her her shoulders go up and she goes shut up you've also never seen clover angry ever but i think clover goes oh yeah and who the fuck are you that you can judge us for that who 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 am i who and you see her start to get angry how long have i been down here she looks at Lysandra. How long have I been down here that they don't know? Did you replace me? And I'm going to need, like, I'm not going to say. She gets up. She strides towards the door where you guys are. And she goes, you don't recognize one of your own priestesses? Never seen you a day in my life. You're no priestess to me. She looks livid as she rounds on Lysandra. How many years has it been? And Lysandra almost shrinks away. How many years have you had me captive? She swings back around to you guys. How many priestesses do you have? There should be... How many priestesses? The there are there's like the high, like ha- the council. How many of them? Do we know? She, you do. <laughs> okay. You've always had seven, as far as you're aware. We'll then probably relay that information defiantly. <laughs> Insolent child, seven. And you've never wondered where the eighth cycle of the moon is? I'm going to look no. right at Lysandra. Lady Lysandra, do you care to explain? 
um well you see Gano, tell them go ahead if some 700 years ago 700 years Are you 700 years and that's when she dives for lysandra again um delphra you are there if you want to try and intervene um yeah you know what what do i have on me here okay while she's looking do we then know every priestess is assigned uh to a phase of the moon you do and do we know which phase is not represented? You do. Which is the new moon? The new moon. Mm. Oh, Every phase right. of the moon has someone that represents it. You've I'll never had. To but that. as far as you're aware, there's never been anyone that takes, that represents the new moon. Would I put that you two and two together? I mean, it's... I'm going to say yes. Clover, did you say that out loud? You, what did you say? Yeah. Okay. Uh, she I said, did not hear. What did you there, say? She said, to repeat yourself. That was great. That was amazing. I just, I, I just said, well, it makes sense for there not to be an eighth person because when it's the new moon, the moon is not there. I'm right. going to cut you. I'm going to hold my hand up and say, of course, the moon is still there. You just can't see it. And it's not gone anywhere. It's just not illuminated. And right. that's what stops Lady Orion. And she goes, at least some of you have intelligence. 700 so years. I had put- this woman, she's, you, you shove her a little bit. And you, um, when you push her aside, you, fe- you get the feeling that this, she knows how to throw a proper punch. She barely moves. Lady Sandra? No, Lady. Did you? No, I pushed Lady you... Alessandra aside. Okay, so Lady Alessandra just that. just flails off to the side, like, "Oh, okay, this is where we're going now." Um, she looks. Give me insight on Lys- on Alessandra right now. All of us, or just Delphra? Me, everyone, if you like. You well, all, you're all watching this scene. Twenty-two, just outside. I rolled twenty-two. Bad. Uh, My feelings got hurt 14. by the new moon comment. Ah, uh, no, 19. insight. Yeah, 14. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say with a 22, because you're right there, you see Lysandra, the shame. She's scared. She's sh- she's shameful. She's been caught in this act. She She's clearly the reason this woman is down here. I'm going to just you touch the brick. That. You touch the brick. Um, I look pissed, by the way. The brick slides in and everything kind of almost shimmers for a second and falls. You guys Lady Lysandra, how could you? Seven, 700 years? What? How, how could you do that to anyone? And no matter what. With Luna's will. Was it? Ooh. I don't think we've been properly no. introduced. I'm going to like turn away from uh, Lysandra and face this new comer and like offer a hand. I am known as Sin. Who are you? She hesitates looks at Lysandra, you see her kind of just side eye Lysandra, and then take your hand. And it's very gentle. Um, she gives it a tiny squeeze and she holds on to you and she says, my name is High Priestess Lady Orion. I am the representative of the new moon. And it seems you have not been part of our clergy for, and then I look over at Lysandra, 700 years. Did something happen? Lysandra looks at you and she goes, Sin? It was 
a time. She 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 fumbles for a second and goes. Nixaria was to be erased from our from our country. Erased? What do you mean? Was she a part of our country? Unfortunately, you cannot have the moon without the new moon. But we did our best to minimize its effects. I'm going to look straight at Orion. Orion. Was Nixaria a part of our doctrine? Of course she was. How do you separate the moon? Luna and Nixaria are two sides of the same coin. You cannot, ex one cannot exist without the other. Sin is going to drop Orion's hand and back up with like the widest, most betrayed eyes and just leave you guys to finish your uh, social encounter. But she just, she's now hearing like a, the ringing in the ear, you know, where everyone's voice kind of fades out and mm -hmm. she's just going to, she's going to back off for the rest of encounter. I, I want to, I rolled insight on sin, um, mm -hmm. but only got an 11. So you guys are, you know that she is atoning for uh, something and you know that she's been very like critical of Nixaria. I rolled a 23 insight on Sin, so like I'm just going to also quietly back out of the conversation and just follow her and just lean, lean on her, you know, provide kitty comfort. I think that normally you're used to sin like giving you a scritch but this she doesn't even notice you like completely numb just there's Funny, you see like... or orion is pacing she's fired up with just like this betrayal that had has gone has happened to her she's being captive for almost 700 years in this gilded cage and she is pacing back and forth and she turns to Lysandra and she goes how could you do this to me how could you just you should I would have preferred you killed me you coward Um, Delphra's gonna kind of usher Lysandra out with everybody. Out of the space? Out of the space and try to, like, hit the block. You're gonna try and lock her back in there. Both of them? No, I'm pushing Lysandra out. Oh, you're gonna no, lock no, 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 I, no, I won't let you do it. Go ahead. Let's let's play this out. So you are pushing Lysandra out. She's following you. She's almost hiding behind you, but you feel like she's 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 holding on to you. She's hugging you. Like she's you're her you're her protector. Uh Delphra. You put like my reason here, guys, is the fact that like all I'm seeing is Scarlet backing, uh, Sin backing up, and then Clover like going up her leg for comfort. So like all I'm seeing is that somebody's in trouble and it's rotating around her. So she, you Lysandra you're backing out is in trouble. You're is backing out really in trouble, but you're Lys backing away from Mariah. No, I was backing away from. I was then, connecting. I, I I heard what Orion had to say, and I looked at Lysandra with horror. It's that totally way. like it's totally fine though because it makes sense that you in your backstory my, you in Lysandra my was though Lysandra literally saved my life. So you are you're backing her out. Um, you're trying to get people to follow you. I think. Um, yeah. So I think I was still kind of standing in the hallway. I hadn't gone past this magical barrier that doesn't exist anymore because the block uh -huh. had been hit. So I think as I see. Delphra coming towards us with Lysandra. I mean, I don't know where everybody else is, but I want to hit the brick so that the magical barrier comes back. 
So wait, so how many of you went into the room? I Sin did. Got into, I didn't you go had... in the room. I was talking across the barrier. Okay, okay, okay. So anyone else? So you're locking Delphra, L- Lysandra, and Orion back in the room? That is my intention, yes. Okay, so as as you get there and you're trying to push Orion aside, you this barrier slams back up in front of you, Delphra. Oh, I'm way back. I don't see that. Sorry. What do you do? I'm like, you're locking me back in? Uh, I don't want Lady Lysandra out of here until we get some answers. Immediately, the, as the you, that's what ha- you say that. And then simultaneously, or uh, Lady Orion is like, she's like flung herself against it. Like, no, don't, don't keep me back in here, please. Delphor just like at this point raises her hand. She goes, okay, guys, tell me who I'm mad at. I don't know. That's why I don't want anybody to come out of this room until we get some answers. <laughs> please, please don't lock me back in here. Wait, look, wait. Lady Orion, I just don't know. I don't know who to trust right here, right now. And I just, I don't want anybody getting out of here and hurting any of my family. Delphra, I'm sorry. She's like, Gosh. Delphra just looks at you. She goes, it's fine. And then turns around and goes, both of you to the back wall, sit the fuck down until we get answers because I want out because I really have to pee. <laughs> There's a oh, I actually have to pee there. too. <laughs> <laughs> and she like that she if you go she's behind the curtain fuck your curtain i want out it's stale in here smells like ass i can smell the toilet sit down i think sin is going to finally kind of start to come back to reality and look down at clover with kind of like a did you just fucking hear what i just heard expression if if cats could be like pale as a ghost, the expression on her face <laughs> is just like complete disbelief. So yeah, you, you the, the intensity of the eye contact is like yes. She's gonna stand up. High priestess, Lysandra. They both look at you for a second, and then and Lysandra's like, oh, oh yeah, that hurts me idea. in the heart. Um, who put you in here, Nick Saria? She was here. Yes. And then she's going to look at Orion. Why didn't Nixaria save you? She shrugs. Did you see Nixaria? I saw her briefly. She did not save her high priestess. Perhaps it's because... No one believes in her anymore. She has no use for me. Well, at least one thing's consistent around here. And that would be... That Nixaria is a little bit of a bitch. (laughs) You see, uh, Orion smiles a little bit at that. Yes, that is why I chose to study under her. what do we do Delphra almost gets like this weird epiphany um, and goes wait if you've been down here for 700 years how do we not know that Nexari is just taking her anger out because her high priestess isn't up there on us and then she kind of turns to Lysandra and goes what else are you hiding from me why would you want to shut out Nixaria? How long was Nixaria part of the doctrine? I'm having a faith crisis right now. I'm going to I'm roll. having a trust crisis. I, I need to roll some rolls here. Hang on. Okay. Yeah, damn. I think we're all having a trust crisis. This is I'm wild. Having, yeah, I'm like IRL, like the adrenaline is <laughs> just <laughs> racing saying. through me right now. My mm-hmm. someone Listen. in the chat actually phrased this beautifully. Sin's moment of I've been trying to atone when I've done nothing wrong. Yeah, that would be Jamie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Orion looks at you. And she says, how 
long has has Nixar yeah, has always been part of the doctrine. As long as I've been alive, Nixaria is the enemy, the Satan of our faith. She is difficult. I'll give you that. But an enemy. And we'll and actually here, Lysandra. we'll hear, we'll hear an enemy and and Nemini was like yes i'm here <laughs> an enemy an enemy wait uh, okay. oh my goodness <laughs> uh like orion's like uh-huh okay that's that's nice like completely lost that that your name is an enemy she doesn't know that but um anemone <laughs> not an enemy uh lissandra looks at you and she with a nat one is lying and you can tell she can't hide it. She's been caught and she never thought that she would be. She just Nixaria is evil. She would she would end us. And she has. She's taken the moonstone, has she not? Has she not? And it sounds you like locked. she has just as much right to it as as you, you locked a high priestess up for 700 years? And how that do is evil. How do I know she's only taking it because you fucked her over? Like, really confused. Delphine just looks at her and she's like... Do we know what? how long lysandra has been the high priestess? Um, I mean, for you guys, she's always been the high priestess. Uh, you'd have like... to go back in the <sighs> in the histories but uh, for you I guys she's history? always been the high priestess can i roll for history uh yeah, you can be... roll for history but you i, I don't feel know. like i feel like this is like ancient egyptian where every like next dynasty starts cutting out the past yeah history, that's you know? kind of what <laughs> yeah. is, is happening here so yeah roll history go ahead and not 20 Okay, well, uh, she's been the high priestess for maybe about a thousand years. Okay, so yeah, they were colleagues for a while. Um, I think Sin is looking directly into Lysandra's eyes with the most hurt, like tears swelling up, like, I cannot fucking believe you right now. I'm gonna roll to see if she... seeing this and like... I'm she's not being stu- discreet. She's real fucking stupid right now. And she looks mm. at you and she goes, Aurora. Aurora. Don't, Aurora. Aurora. Don't call me that. Don't and forget. don't get to call me that after you have been calling me sin. Delphra gets like really upset. When you say that, you know? just FYI, before well, I'll let you talk. When you say that, Orion looks at 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 Lady Lysandra and just there's just big wind up of a slap that just across her face because she figured she's she's put it together uh, she's real smart guys but that's that's exactly what I was gonna do because I was gonna yeah. be like she's she's upset and I'm like it doesn't matter how much this woman has fucking helped her the sisters are like she could see that one of her sisters are is fucking wrecked so. As Araya slaps her, Delphine goes on from the other side. Bam! Bam! Mm-hmm. Lysandra is like falls to her knees. She can't, she cannot, she clearly cannot take this. Um, she goes, I did what I was instructed to do. By who? By um, Luna. By... Do we know anything about the power structure of the priestesses? <laughs> like, was it like do we know that there's like one priestess who's in charge of all the other priestesses? Like, can we maybe assume this yeah, might have been like a? Uh, so there's one high priestess and then a council. Does the high priestess like represent the full moon and does she represent a moon aspect? Yes, she represents okay. the full moon. Okay. Hi, uh, Lady Lysandra is the full moon. They both said they, okay. Are the other phases referred to as high priestess or is only one referred to as high priestess? 
only one is referred to as so high priestess. When there they is both... one that is referred to as an elder priestess who has who was one of them the one that trained or has helped train other priestesses. So when I said high priestess and they both said yes, yeah. is that like did you usurp her? I mean, that is a is good that... conclusion that you could draw okay. there. If okay. You feel like okay, so I was told two sounds super weak right now, and now it suddenly sounds like a power grab. I yeah, I rolled an insight. I want to see if she actually believes that Luna told her to That's do this. What was call, your insight? Yeah. It was nineteen. Nineteen. Yes, she did what she was told. Why would you? Why would Luna? Why tell... would you go along with that? My God commanded it of me. Why would I not? Um, Delphra's because going to like kind of shove her with her foot onto the ground and go and like kind of try to pin her, given how weak she is. <laughs> when you when you when you pin her, she looks at you with these like big blue eyes, and she looks at you. She goes, Delphra. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna completely ignore her. Turn to the wall with everyone there, and just be like, "Can we open this? Because I kind of need an enemy's help right now. I'm a weak fuck." I'm gonna bash the thing. She's again. not fighting you. I'm, I'm gonna I grab uh, Orion by the wrist and guide her out of the cage before anyone does anything fast. He looks at you with her, her, her yellow eyes. The like yellowy orange. The amber. I guess that's the color I'm looking for. Uh, mm -hmm. She looks at you. She's just like her. She starts to cry. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> I've been. I don't thank me too much yet. We have lots of questions. As long as I can breathe fresh air, you have my thanks. I still don't when even know Lady how to Orion get out of here. So. Comes up <sighs> when Lady Orion comes up to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, reach out a paw and do a first level cure wounds on her. Um, her. just because I can see that she's, you know, they've been fighting. Yeah. She's beat up. Her mm -hmm. eye uh, heals up and she she can open it again. And she goes, <clears throat> you have my thanks. So uh, push hard with her foot and like look at Lysandra and just like with the most like anger that she can muster points at her and goes, stay. And I just walk away out and I hit the butt and I hit the brick. <laughs> you oh, need no. me to get out of here. Orion, do you know any passageways out of the temple? We are trying to escape. She We've been marked enemies. She was unfortunately, I, I was put here. I don't. This wasn't here before. Oh um, well, I do know that we have a bag of holding. Should we stuff our wayward priestess? Excuse me, high priestess inside. I say I'm, that very sarcastically. <laughs> and I, and like this time, because I'm like hesitant with everything that I've already fucked up, I look at mm -hmm. Sip and I'm just like, Earthbind? We should probably take her with us, but we should bind her. Yes. Take her implements, take her focus, take her components, gag her if we need to, but we need to get out of the temple and then figure out our next move we do need to get that moonstone and back when you say that um orion straightens up i might be of assistance if i have access to some star charts recent ones perhaps that would be very helpful and uh, are there any Lysandra, you? you Lysandra's the one that would need to access those for you. Lysandra goes, I can help. I can help. Okay. So I'm I'm also gonna look at Orion real quick and be like, apologies. I find your story very compelling, but we actually don't know anything about you yet. Do we have your consent to... And then I hold up the other side of the handcuff. At least until we get to someplace. She puts her arm right out. You're going to take me out of here? Here you go. I look at the rest of the sisters. We, uh, you know, just better are you, safe are than sorry. Are you guys sorry. putting them in it like... They're, you're putting Together. them in like a we get along 
uh, yes. shirt. <laughs> yes. I just think that as much as I, I feel for Orion right now, I also have had a very tremulous relationship with Nixaria. And uh, I feel very, very hesitant to trust anyone outright. And I think that we should keep them both under control for the time being. A hundred percent. And as you guys uh, are there in their We Get Along uh, shirt, they are <laughs> l- like Lysandra is is uh taking you out and uh leading you out and every now and then you'll watch as as Orion will just kind of like and punch her in the face or in the body and something and then and uh Lysandra will shove her and they're just like clearly they do it's like we get along but it's not it's not working yeah could um, I, while they're doing this, and I, as my sisters are leading everyone out, could Anemone look at the two? If you don't behave, I'm going to put both of you out. You are grown women. Stop it. Walk ahead. You're both in the shit. Intimidatingly, please. <laughs> um, I'm going to roll to see if they, you roll me intimidation and I'm going to roll to see how well they take this because they are both very powerful uh, spellcasters. Yeah. I'm taking their arcane focuses and their spell components if they had them. And uh, there will be no uh, material component spells cast today. She rolled an 18. They look at you. uh, they settle down a bit. They look at you and they're like, "Can we understand? We are not, we are not behaving the way a high priestess should behave." But also, every now and then, <laughs> it's can still- I just say, if you Honestly, misbehave, yeah. she is gonna be your anemone. <laughs> <laughs> Me, oh, I like, so I like that. I like that. I love it. I love it. You don't Thanks, want her Sin. as an enemy. <laughs> Orion, Orion is like, am I missing something? Her name just is call me. It's a it's thing. Annie. <laughs> just call me Annie. If okay. oh, I love that gotcha. Annie. It's so sweet. Annie's not okay right now. Though. As you guys get Annie, to okay. basically um, the. <laughs> The staircase that led from the orrery, um, so the Crescent Garden Selene is a uh, Selena is on her way down. She's made her way through, and she sees you all, and she sees Lysandra, and she goes, "Oh, we and got caught! Con- you guys have her in handcuffs. Yeah, you guys have been caught." And she's like. Right. Keep walking or you'll be in handcuffs too. Uh, we can explain. Wait, yeah, no, before before we do that, can now can I, explain now. Can I look at Celine and be like, if you want us to explain, look at these two, look at us, see this, and she's gonna like th- th- show off like the one side where the the wooden statue or whatever hit her. This hurts. She's like fully healthy. She nearly died. Points towards Selfra. We were in also imprisoned. Our high priestess has a lot of explaining to do. And honestly, thank you. Thank you for doing your job. But if you want me to explain, you better move out of the way. Like right now. Oh, oh, you, anemone. It is. You are trying to intimidate someone that knows that they can grind you into the dust should they decide to. And she's looking at you like. You did explain the pro- The thing is, you did explain with all of that, but you told her to move. And I and, and she's just like, I can't move now. And that's what you see. I'm going to say like. You told me to move. I can't move because you told me that I have to move. Please, please move so we can get the answers that we need. All of our sisters are currently in lockdown. The entire temple is in a fray because she went missing. And she looks over to Lysandra. And apparently we failed a mission. And someone out there has the stone that we need. Correct? You two are a priestess. 
I am a priestess. We are all priestesses here. We all believe in the powers of Luna. And she will look towards Lady Orion. Sorry. The doctrine is such that I don't know everything. I didn't really pay attention to my lessons because I was busy learning how to fight people like her, who is really cool and really powerful and buff. And I really wish I could learn how. Listen, please move. <laughs> Is it the old lady in the NPC gallery? No, it's uh, Selena. So it's the, um, she's the Triton. Oh, I'm looking at this picture of the old ass lady priestess Selene. And I was like, so this, this, this is a Crescent Guardian. Oh, they're a different thing. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. 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 Oh. Um, she looks at you and she's like, how about this? I will escort you. I will escort you to a waiting room. I will get the captain. We'll go from there. Selena, can I make a suggestion? You're free to try. Everybody in this temple deserves to hear the truth. And they will once the commander says so. Can we gather? I want... I want everybody in the room to hear what Lady Lysandra has to say for herself and to hear what Lady Orion has to say. We will gather the priestesses. I will talk to the commander and we will go from there. That is final. I'm going to look at everyone and be like, let's play along at least for now. If not, we have an enemy. <laughs> and Nemini is going to have like a nervous tick every time she's like you know maybe that joke fell flat maybe we need to work it out a little bit we need to make it more intimidating she's thinking this in her yeah. brain so whoever <laughs> if any of those priestesses are like reading her mind for whatever reason or purpose because they have that ability to do so Anemone would have let it pass and their surface thought is we really need to change that catchphrase we'll have to work on it you don't Probably, want me you know. as an enemy as an enemy <laughs> oh my god that's your catchphrase from now on i love it everybody so wants to be an enemy so <laughs> here's here's what happens you guys are brought to um more or less where you met with Lysandra for the first time to get your uh to get your assignment to get the moonstone back um can everyone give me a, a perception check really quickly yes and can we also have uh, our break soon because i have been holding it forever and it's getting hard okay we're gonna take we're gonna take a quick five minute break before we have this daniel 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 I'm I rolled a 13 I before the break. I got a 16. I wrote it. I always forget. I'm like, I always freak out now. Hi, we're back from our five minute break where uh, everybody just kind of had their minds blown. And we are now gathering um, the Crescent Guardians and the uh, the eight priestesses that are that run the temple and almost I mean, most things. Um Aside from the royal family themselves, and this might be something for the queen to get involved in. Uh, how are we all doing before we start and jump right back into that? I, good? I'll, uh, yeah, I'm ready to get some answers. Okay. Um, so, Sin. Uh, yeah. Sin. Yes. The name is Aurora. You were the person in the letters? Did I see these letters? Yeah, you did. You, I, the, your quick refresher. Lysandra and your mom were talking about you and how you were doing well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, I am Aurora Ravencrest of the Moon's oh. Shade Village. I came here to repent for my sin. I know we... We never really heard what you did, and, and you don't have to tell us or anything, but I... I committed blaspheme. I, I was told I committed blaspheme, and I had I was the high priestess of my village. I was stripped of my rank and station for my deeds. 
I came here to atone and to serve until the stain was washed out. And that must feel, I guess for all of us, it's a betrayal, but more so for for you. And I, I imagine Clover too, to think that your goddess could have asked for something like this. I don't know what to think. With uh, your previous perception checks, um, this is a place where you have been many times, uh, including for ceremonies. And as you, I know one of you got like a, a 16, I think. I um, did. Perfect. I You're putting it together. As you look on the floor where each priestess would stand there is a circle of that time of the moon um and where the new moon would be is a pedestal that is now empty that used to hold the moonstone but you get you do see just at the bottom there is a ring of black there was a place the whole for her. time. The whole time. Do I know if the other priestesses of each phase have been in their position for how do I know how long they would have been in their positions? Like are they in on this or are they just as oblivious as we were? Um, I was just gonna say, as as you are <laughs> realizing this the call has been put out to have uh the priestesses gather um uh -oh. elder priestess safina comes down through one of the uh the archways um she's got cascading wavy silver hair um got those hollow cheekbones the ho yeah those <laughs> hollow fucking cheekbones these pouty lips like she is uh she's a model in all sense of the word, that she looks like a model. Um, and she looks at Lysandra for a moment. She she starts to uh, go towards her until she catches sight of Orion um, and stops dead. Automatic insight check, please. Can we, can we insight check <laughs> all of oh. these freaking yeah. women for a yeah second. yeah you can what, uh roll insight i do want to hear what what how were you about to explain her reaction yes uh she looks shocked she looks confused like shocked like oh my gosh you're still alive or oh my well gosh, this what is what your insight this is your what where are you your doing insight will come in so okay 17 i got a insight. 17 two 17s that's where we're at. Okay, so with these 17s, uh, you get, she hasn't, she, she's shocked in the sense that like, she has not seen a Lady Orion in 700 years. 700 years. And she's looking at her like, where? You hear her. Where have you been? And at that, just behind her, another priestess, uh, Lilasa, comes walking in. She is a, um, she's a short little goblin. Uh, very gentle appearance. She's got this like pale mint green skin with uh, little flecks everywhere and brown eyes. And she uh, looks around and she goes, Lysandra, what's? You're okay. And she runs to her immediately without even glancing at Orion. Um, a second later, we have our uh, our very elderly human uh, priestess, Celine, walking with a cane down the hallway. You see her come in and she's quiet and just kind of stands back. She's very patient. She's very wait and see what happens uh she'll stand to the side and be she's waiting to make 
her judgment. Um, it, a little, a little takes a few more minutes, and then uh, Priestess Kalia comes walking in, and she is, um, what did I say she was? I think she's also so she's a halfling, so she's short. This short little halfling walks in, and and uh, short brown hair, bright green eyes, walks in and goes. This is interesting. This is very interesting. I'd say, what's uh, what's going on here? Like this is all a game with whatever's happening. I didn't think this was a bad idea. Uh, Priestess uh, Phaedra will come in next, and she's a tiefling with uh, she's white from head to toe almost like albino like um the only thing that's got a bit of color are her horns and her eyes and they're the same color and it's a very yellowy like bone ish color ivory in a way uh she walks in and goes this this is a very tense aura and I really, it's I don't know what's girly. happening, um, but I think that we should all just, we should all take a moment, okay? We just, I'm really glad you're back, uh, Priestess Lysandra. I'm, I'm so happy to see you again. Why, why are you in handcuffs? Um, okay. And finally, the last one that walks in is our half dragonborn. Uh, she's a very yellow golden tone with uh, scales that kind of turn into bits of hair. They, her, the top of her scales kind of cover the bit of her forehead and then turn. she's got hair from behind gold locks. I'm doing a terrible job of describing this. Um, and a long, strong tail that follows behind her. And she... So she's what super hot. exactly? She's kind of hot. She's she's very she's she looks like she could tear you to pieces with her bare oh, hands. Please, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> and right now she looks like she just got woken up, and she looks a look. She looks annoyed. Why? Why am I awake? We found. Mood. Priestess Lysandra. And we have found High Priestess Orion. And I'm going to make eyes with the one person who seemed to recognize her, like, care to explain. I forget who it was. Uh, it was uh, the Sophia? cheekbone girl. Yeah, it was cheekbones. Sophia. Cheekbones, she explain. She actually was. You know what? It's something that you would have to figure out in game. Ooh. She looks at at uh Orion and she looks at Lysandra and she goes Why are you, why are you why are you bound? What what is where have you been? My darling. And she uh runs up and actually gives a hug and a kiss to be each of them like it's like a like she grabs them like they're her children almost and brings them to her and gives them a kiss on the for on on the side of the head apologies oh, elder priestess um where did you think that lady orion has been i don't know i've been i searched for you for decades I look at Lysandra. <laughs> Lysandra's just like looking at the ground, like like. Um, with your insights from previously, you get the feeling that um. You get the feeling that she's being talked down to by someone that she respects. Like this is uh. 
I'll just tell you, it, it's, this is the woman that trained both of them. Oh, she's like mommy, mommy. Yeah, she is mommy, mommy. She is elder gotcha. priestess Safina. She has been here much longer than any of them. Okay. She just yeah, never I... wanted to be the high priestess. I think I would have spoken to her with way more respect than when I said that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, she, my this lady. is a high strung, you know, situation. She's, from what you know of her, and you haven't had many interactions, but you have had some, she has always been very kind and gentle with you. Um, you called Us yourself as Sin. a collective or me specifically? All of you. You, especially, you, you would call yourself Sin, and she would say, uh, and she would call you by your last name. Mm. You know, she would not use the word sin. Mm. Uh, at that point, Commander Diana walks in. She is who runs the Crescent Guardians. Um, She's a half orc, what? half elf. You have to go into the. the <laughs> She's got two scars that mar her face. Otherwise, it's her skin is perfection, but two scars that go down b both eyes. Um, she's got a shaved head, like inky black blue hair on one side, and when she walks in, all of the other. Uh, Crescent Guardians that have trickled in come to attention. The uh, priestesses themselves other than the three uh, the Safina, Lysandra, and Orion make way for her to come in as she walks in. Can I ask, to, are um, the Lunar Sisters here? The other Lunar Sisters? Pardon me, what was that? Are the other Lunar Sisters here? No, you notice that it has been kept to the people that have been guarding you and uh, and the elders, or like the, the actual priestesses. Um, Commander Diana, I, I know gaze. this isn't my place, um, but I'm really uh, tired of secrets. And we have been kept in the dark. And so if we continue this without the rest of us here, so will our other Lunar Sisters. And I don't think they deserve to be lied to. Then it's a good thing that it is not your decision to make that, that call. You are a child and clearly do not understand that sometimes secrets are necessary and every country has secrets. Whatever I have served this temple just like they are. And you will continue to do so. We'll see about that. I'm gonna look at the Blue door. Mommy Diana. Uh did you know? And then nod at Orion. Did I know of what? That you held one of your high priestesses captive for nearly a millennia. She looks at uh, Orion. Orion looks at her and shakes her head no. Like, she's clearly new. There are different lifespans. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured, right? like, she has, she's like us. We're like, what? The, the, the Nick Sari is blessed. She's, <laughs> so she totally, like, you see Diana look at her, look her up and down, doesn't know who she is, but there's nothing that you can read there. And okay. she looks and she goes, somebody explain and explain fast. I think Lissar, wait, Liss, there's so many beautiful names. I'm getting my tongues to, Lysandra, thank you. I think Lady Lysandra should explain why she is keeping a high priestess and aspect of the new moon captive. I say that so everyone hears every element of what I just said. Oh, I would like to remind you specifically, um, Scarlet, 
because Uh-oh. did I say something bad? No, 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 you didn't. But <laughs> I just it just popped into my head. Remember in the uh the mini campaign, you found an amulet that you guys threw into the darkness that caused exhaustion. And you were the only one to put together that that was not Nix. It was commonly believed to be an, an amulet of Nixaria, but it was not. You know that to be a made by the Lunar Temple to be a smear campaign against Nixaria. That was something that you, that. yeah. Um. Ah. Oh uh, my gosh. <laughs> You see Lysandra straighten herself up and say to the commander, Unshackle me. Unshackle me. Anonymous? <laughs> I don't know if you want to do this one. That's that's up to you, though. Anemone is going to look towards her orc mommy. Um, yeah, she is mommy, I'm going to admit. I don't know who to romance anymore. <laughs> I have too many <laughs> options. Um, They're all hot. <laughs> they are um, so hot. I, and we'll look. We'll look towards hot too. We'll look towards um hot orc mommy, and then look towards elder lady, pretty lady, and um she's gonna look at everyone. And, and at this point in time, because Anem Anemone's been rolling really poor on her insight, she got she got a thirteen on everything. She's con dazed, confused, and she's upset because she just saw Adolfa die. And she's like, listen, I would love to unchain whatever is going on here. Things are happening. I'm processing very slowly. But could could we please heal my, my sister first or at least give her some healing potions, please, before we do anything? And... If you are going to explain things and so on and so forth, could you do it in a fashion that a child would understand? Because the way I'm looking at it looks towards Lysander. She she was my boss. And uh, she's a fraud. Looks towards Lady Orion. She was locked up for 700 years. We... <laughs> You're saying this, and uh, Mommy Orc has no expression. <laughs> She's like the straight back, like yeah. full, like I. She is the commander, and yeah. she she's taking this in with like not. It's not phasing her at all. Yeah, and like yes. an anemone, anemone, anemone will look at that and and is basically sorting her her thoughts in a way that make sense to her and she's going to look at mommy orc and be like with all due respect would it be all right if they could be not necessarily chained but at least have guards on either side of them just because i know her looks towards lysandra she, she was weird the last time I saw her visage. She turned into Nixaria, and Nixaria stole the Moonstone. And I personally don't know if this is Lysandra still or if this is Nixaria. No offense, High Priestess. I and I don't know... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you, you kept us under house arrest for three days because we lost the Moonstone. That's that's where she you see her open her mouth and she looks at you and she goes, House arrest seems much better than in the dungeon for someone who lost more or less what keeps our entire country fertile. And Anemone is going to look at that and be like, we get that we lost an atomic bomb of goodness. But at the same time, please understand that we're just in the dark as the same as you are. Again, with all due respect. Nofra is going to be like, um, um, excuse me, um, need I remind you, we brought yes. that back and uh, 
you let Nixaria kidnap Lysandra and disguise herself. Okay. And that was all under your nose. So I think you should just shut up and sit down. Wait, yeah. hold on. Lost, excuse me. Wait, 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 wait. Bef while Delphi is doing that, can can I do a this is me being a player, not not anemone, but anemone I feel it has enough intelligence to be like as she's processing everything, could could we make a perception check and or insight check specifically on mommy orc? And because she's been tricked by Nixaria with the moonstone, whether or not mommy orc is mommy orc. Because she, she, like, in Anemone's mind, like, anybody could, like, change into anybody right now. Like, <laughs> we don't, true. apart apart from my sisters, who I think they are my sisters, anybody could be a doppelganger, and everybody's sus. Uh, uh, um, one the misery, everyone, <laughs> I don't know how, I, anemone. you can make a perception check, um, you make an insight check. I guess insight because that would just, you you want to see if she is who she says she is, is saying she is. Okay, do that. Um, I'm like making super super eye contact with uh Safina, trying to see like how she's reacting to seeing somebody that she apparently cares about for the first time in 700 years. Um, oh uh, no, you're gone. Safina, okay, so uh, an anemone with that freak out. What did you roll? I was trying to show you that I rolled a natural 19 for I... the first time in this campaign <laughs> on an so inside check plus three <laughs> for the first time in this campaign. Um, nice. you've trained with the commander. Uh, you haven't trained, okay, you haven't trained with the commander. She has corrected you uh, while walking by in certain things. You seem like she seems like the commander. She seems like she is who she says she is. She is trying to get to the bottom of something that is just it sounds absolutely ludicrous to her. Um Safina she, she doesn't know. <laughs> has actually wandered have walked over to Delphra and um is has cast a spell to heal you up. You're at full health. Um and yeah. is at this point she has an arm around you and is just like uh, she's going, may I cast one more spell on you, darling? Kind of give her, like, this look, like, hey. And she's going to cast calm emotions so that you just chill. <laughs> we, we and and, 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 you, and she, <laughs> she runs, as she casts it, she runs, her, like, a hand through your hair and just kind of caresses your cheek just so that you calm down. She's like, all right. Uh, I'm so jealous. Um, it's... Everyone wants a spell right now just to keep Delphra like in a bubble. What God, you guys so don't jealous expect. that fucking she touched your face. Look at her. <laughs> Look at her. She's got cheekbones, man. What you don't expect is uh, our little halfling who walks up to Lysandra and goes, Well, it's a rain mess we've made here, huh? She's supposed to be dead, not kept away for eons and eons for this to happen. I'm so I'm sorry. Excuse what did you me? just say? Well, normally, when you purge someone from when you when you the histories are changed and you purge people from you know the books, you don't leave them alive, Lathandra. Uh, so the thing that I DM'd you is, like, happening right now, and I am <laughs> yeah. going, uh, I, I do think that since I was the one that suggested we cuff them, do, are, do you ladies consent to me being the one to uncuff Orion at that comment? Yeah, I'm gonna, like, but discreetly so that everyone else, like, only us and Orion, and I guess Lysandra would notice as well but i'm just like alarm bells are like yeah uh are you telling me priestess celia that orion was supposed to die because her her part of the doctrine 
was erased from history? Personally, I would have erased her memories. Or killed her. Would have been kinder, I think. How old but is this she halfling? Seems, this, this halfling is a druid. Oh. This halfling is a druid. <laughs> she tricked us with her halfling young looks. <laughs> I love the oh from everybody. <laughs> uh, the captain of the guard is going to um, enough. I will get the queen, and that is where we are going to call this session. No. Nah! <laughs> oh boy! Oh my we goodness. get to call. The queen. This was a wild one. Like I barely wrote any notes just because I was listening. <laughs> the and call paying attention. is the call oh is God, coming so from notes. inside the house. Right? The call is coming from oh inside the God. house. I love that. Like this is this is wild. Session two, and everything we know about everything has just been turned upside down. Like <laughs> what? <laughs> what? We we need to get Orion out of there. We need to save her. <sighs> yeah. We all we have to save, in my save, throat. We, we have, have to save all the goth late yeah. the punk goth ladies. We have to save the captain of the guard because she's really hot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One thousand right percent. Now. I know you hate her, but I mean listen. No, we with all due respect. Her, I need to look at her and be like, come with us. <laughs> Come with us. She's go. She's going Come to the fucking us. queen. Yeah. Like, um, man, la- my lady, I know you were asleep. But also, <laughs> shit has hit the fan, and I don't know what to do. I, this is above my pay grade. Hmm. I hope Please this queen up. calls her child. <laughs> Let me speak to your manager. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, uh, yeah. So, um, it was very. <laughs> this has been a, a fun chaos session. I am Ice Knee Stars, uh, your shenanigan sovereign, and I will see you guys not mo- not not Monday or Tuesday because we don't have games this week, but on Saturday. Um, uh, Clover. <laughs> um, hi, I've been Clover. I'm Linen and Spice, most places on the internet. Um, I play Alien on Shattered Tabletop Games first Sunday of the month. Uh, Scarlet. I'm Scarlet 64 in <laughs> shock. Uh, I am known for the creation of the dessert dragons, which you can get on my Etsy shop or my storefront, scarlet.com. Uh, my my drink dragons like pumpkin spice and eggnog and all that, they sold out twice. I just had to order more. That's how popular they are. Uh, amazing gift for people who collect stickers. Uh, Anemone. Hello, everybody. I was GM of Revan. You can call me in. Anemone and I are sharing the same brain cell at the moment where we're like, fuck. <laughs> anyway, you can find me on the internet as GM of Revan. Uh, I make maps. I'm a world builder, content creator, and I role play a lot. Um, and I love hanging out with these fantastic fam and thems. Take it away, Mama Kali. Hi, I'm Mommy Khalif. I played Delphra. I do make no promises that I will not die again. Um, you can't find me anywhere on the internet. And uh, that's it for now, folks. Uh, Kathy. Hi, I am Star, and I am on TikTok at Star Mama C. And I also have a podcast, Characters of That Stories. The latest episode is actually with these lovely ladies um, so give it a listen it's called characters without stories you can find it wherever you find podcasts thank you Pat, is that all of us did we all do the thing yeah we all did the thing okay i love you bye <laughs>